So here we're going to look at how we build the Hobie Tiger. If you've been handling a pile of bits and you want to know how to put them together, here it is. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need some sealant to stop the boat leaking, a 17mm spanner and a 17mm socket or another spanner will do. The socket is better. Some grips, here we've got Turbo Luck, the finest grips a man can get. And finally, a handy knife or something similar basically for removing the old sealant. So here you can see we've put the boat on the trolley uh, to get it the right width, roughly of course. Uh, but before we start building, we're going to have to do some cleaning. All of the old sealant that's been used needs to be removed before we put the boat together. If you don't take it off, the boat will leak. So we're using a knife here, but you can use your standing knife blade or anything else similar to get rid of all that sealant before we put on the new stuff. Here we're just cleaning the thread of the bolt using some whipping twine, well worth doing. And then just applying the new sealant around the hole. Doesn't matter if the sealant does go on the bolt, this will uh, create a more watertight seal. So I've put these images in basically to stop you looking like an idiot in the boat part when you put your beams on the wrong way around. That's the back of the back beam and the front of the front beam. So we're just lining up the holes in the rear beam there. And as we bring it down we're just going to put a nut on that bolt, a nut and washer, just to keep it together. Just finger tight at this stage, we'll tighten it properly a little later on. It's well worth having someone help you when you're assembling the tire. Unfortunately on this occasion my assistant was missing in action, uh, perhaps with a lady or perhaps just drunk, who knows. But this does show you can do it single handed. So there we are just lining up the, the other hole with the beam bolts. Just pushing them through and checking that they line up and just popping them into position. This is the front beam going on, same procedure here. We've just got to be careful to make sure the trampoline doesn't get caught in between the beam and the hull because uh, you'll have to take it off and do it again if that does happen. So now it's time to tighten those nuts. So there it is, we've got the washer on, the first nut, which is getting pulled very tight, and then once that's tight, the second nut can go on. The purpose of which is just to make sure nothing shakes loose. So now she's really starting to take shape. So we unroll the trampoline. And first, we're just gonna tie it loosely using the ropes down the side. This is just to hold it up make everything a lot easier. In the rope on the side there should be a loop which you can pass your rope through. This will make it a lot easier to get the trampoline tight as we will have the purchase. And then we'll do the same on the other side just to keep the trampoline off the floor. Very important to make sure that the trampoline is totally central. You can line up the hole with the mast step on the front beam just to ensure that it is totally central. And here's how the side ropes should be attached at the front. So the next step is to start hooking the trampoline lacing on to the nuggets on the back beam. I'm going to pull some tension on at this point because it's a bit easier to pull it while you have the whole rope, but not bar tight at this stage just working our way along, coming from the trampoline over the nugget to the next nugget, then back to the trampoline and repeat. Now that we've got that laced up, we can really start to crank on the tension on those side ropes. I'm just using the, the socket here to get a bit of extra grip on the rope, really pulling it tight. And then we're just gonna tie that off before doing it the same on the other side. Once 
once that's done on both sides, there is a cringle in the trampoline, which is there to help you get more tension. So we'll just pass the rope through there double. And again, we're gonna wind on some tension. You can really make a big difference to the trampoline using this one. Don't pull too tight, however, because there is a chance you could pull that cringle out, which could well ruin your day as you'd have to take the trampoline off completely and to your local sailmaker will be happy to replace it for you. So to finish off, we can now start really cranking the tension on to the lacing at the back. Again, using the handle of the socket just to get a little bit of extra leverage on the rope. To stop the rope from slipping every time, we're gonna use our grips just to pinch it to stop it from slipping through. And when we get to the end, this is a good method of tying it off So just to finish this stage of construction, we're gonna fit the bridle wires just to the bow tangs, just using the clevis pins, putting the, the pins down through 